good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel it simplified i hope you find these videos useful and subscribing to channel in today's session i'm here to talk about uh, data lake and blob storage because as you know that uh, when it comes to storage there are a lot of options available and sometimes there is a lot of confusion in the community which one to choose so today i'm just going to focus about uh, blob and uh, data lake what are the differences and uh, under what scenarios you can use one over the other so let's put data lake here and blob on this side right okay so the first difference that i see is uh, from the authentication uh, side uh, when it comes to data lake, uh, you can use uh, Azure AD for authentication purposes. And when it comes to Blob, uh, it uses uh, uh, shared access keys, also known as uh, SAS, for authentication. That's one difference. Uh, that's on the authentication side what kind of protocol the authentication uses data lake uses OAuth we are familiar that uh, Azure AD support is uh, protocol such as OAuth or SAML so in this case we are talking about OAuth and I think it's 2.0 and uh, when it comes to blob they support uh, hash based messaging authentication protocol also called HMAC and when the when the client is making a call uh, when it comes to the data lake the call must contain JSON web token and in this case they should be the call should contain encoded 256 hash something to keep in mind when you're trying to uh, authenticate or trying to get access to these uh, storage another difference that I see is the encryption Data Lake supports server side and Blob support server as well as client side encryption. Right, so encryption at both server as well as client side. Uh, then what about the size, right? Now one good thing about the data lake is that there is no limitation on the size. Of the data that you can have in the in the data lake storage maybe one thing when we talk about big data analytics something to keep in mind when it comes to blob depending upon the region it can vary from 5 terabyte to 500 terabyte per storage account the last time I checked and I think 5 per terabyte is for US and uh, Europe region And 500 terabyte per storage account for rest of the uh, rest of the region. And as I said again, when you talk about big data, this number might come into play. So, data lake, there is no limitation. You can put as much as data that you want with blob storage. There is a limitation depending upon what region you depend. You want to put the data in. What about the structure? What is the structure of the data? In data lake, you have hierarchical structure. And uh, blob has flat namespaces. For example, when we talk about the DNS, DNS uses hierarchical namespaces, right, always. 
and uh, just to further talk about the structure so say for example uh, if I put the data in the data lake storage say you have a company called IT Simplified in this you have uh, maybe head office you have a branch office and this you have uh, maybe multiple departments you have IT you have sales you have accounting here you have uh, HR right or some other department in this you can have a user maybe say Ram Lakshman they are in uh, IT department and in this branch office you have uh, Bharat Shatrugan That's the way the hierarchical system looks, right? But when you talk about the blob storage, you might see this uh, as, so say, taking the same example, I have the company ID simplified. You will have uh, Ram in IT head office. You have uh, Bharat. in HR branch office so something to keep in mind again I'm stressing a lot on the big data because that's one of the major differentiator between choosing one over the other ID simplified follow and hierarchical structure and in blob you have flat namespaces right so that's uh, one thing now what is the usage right in data lake it is meant for big data analytics. You can put any kind of data it can be structured, semi-structured, unstructured, you can have SQL which has a relational databases, you can have semi-structured, you can have unstructured data such as uh, uh, you know Twitter tweets videos and all those things right whereas block storage is meant for general purpose it is not specifically meant for big data and I'm going to elaborate on that in a moment so data lake is meant for big data analytics whereas block storage is meant for general purpose you can still keep structured data you can still keep your backups your photos your images like text-based documents right something like that uh, but another important thing difference from the big data analytics uh, perspective is that data lake is optimized for parallel computation It is based over uh, Web HDFS, also known as uh, Web Hadoop file system. And uh, because when you're talking about uh, big data, you need to uh, you need to maybe spread files over a number of storage server to improve the throughput. Because when you talk about data analytics, that is what is done. There is no concept of uh, parallel computing in this. So there is no concept of parallel computing in, in the blob storage. So these are some of the um, main uh, differences that I see, which might help you choosing one over the other from the authentication, what protocol it uses, the encryption, what is the size of the storage that you can put, what structure uh, each of these storage uses, and what is the use case scenarios uh, for one over the other. And uh, just to quickly show you where to find the data lake. And uh, if you're using, we are in the version two now, and you need to go and still find the storage account. 
and if I can show you quickly how to create so let me just create a new resource group let me just just give a name I'm not uh, creating anything but just want to show you quickly pick a region because if you go in all services you won't find the data lake right and if you go to next this is where it is right so you see the data lake storage generation 2 make sure you enable that and click on review and create click on create actually let me show you since I'm here it won't take long Okay, so if I go inside, you can see that I have now the Data Lake Gen 2 file system. I can go inside. I can go and click on File System. Give a name for this. Click on OK. So it's creating the Data Lake file system for me. And now if I go and expand this, Right here, you can use the Azure Storage Explorer to access this. That's the way you can do it. And obviously, uh, maybe in the future video, I'll show you how to configure the data factory, how to upload that from maybe a database on-prem, like SQL database, and uh, use data factory to upload the data in the uh, data lake storage. But that is how you will access. But the important thing I just wanted to point out there, because there's a lot of confusion with storage to, to choose from big data analytics perspective, uh, I think that will be helpful for you uh, comparing Blob versus Data Lake. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.